Hello, it's January and welcome back to Lottie's Plot. After a great Christmas, we find all is not well back at the plot. Oh look, something seems to have happened. It looks as though a badger or some sort of animal has just dug up the entire pot. Yeah. They've left the bulbs, which would hint to us that it is an animal as opposed to a, a human. But uh, we can get these replanted sure enough and then get them back in the ground. Yeah. There's yet more bad news at the badger's buffet. It's like they got the fissile area too. I guess you have to expect some losses. So time to get on with the groundwork. We want to get the beds going in phase two so that we can get planting. To start, we have to measure out where we're going to dig the first raised bed. These are going to be rectangular rather than the ones we had in the design. This makes them easier for us to build and to manage later. There are going to be six beds 2.4 metres long Stop. by 1.6 metres wide and raised by about 30 centimetres. To make sure the bed is square, we measure the diagonals. It's not critical at this stage. It's just a hole in the ground, but it's useful to be nearly right rather than wildly out and will save us digging too much. Okay, 2 Okay. Now there's nothing for it but mud, sweat and tears. The top few centimetres are quite solid with the frost, like the crust on a creme brulee. When you get through this, it's more like sticky toffee pudding and difficult to free from spade or fork. Once through the crusty and fondant layers, the soil is drier like the biscuit layer in a cheesecake and I pick up speed again. Note to self, must stop thinking about dinner. Meanwhile, Toby has transformed into a mud monkey. Gosh, I am so tired, it's serious hard work that is. It's all worth it. That's enough for today. We've dug down about 30 centimetres, which should give us a total bed depth of 60 centimetres, deep enough for most planting. It's been a glorious winter's day here on the plot. Frosty, crisp and beautifully sunny. If we get many more of these, we might get ahead and get all the beds in before February. I spoke too soon. It's really just a light dusting of snow, but enough to cause chaos in the UK. As I was otherwise busy, I sent Dad Cam down to the allotment to film a sequence of pretty snow shots. He likes his montage sequences. We had managed to get the frame of the first raised bed in place before the snow. There's a membrane of anti-weed matting tacked to the sides to keep out couch grass. We've also dug in a load of leaves to help improve the soil. But for now, there's little we can do until the weather changes. The plants in the flower bed are out of their holding pots. And some of the bulbs are showing green tips through the snow. It's more sleet than snow, and it's going to make the ground even more waterlogged. So what does a 21st century allotment here do when you can't garden? You go online. Seeds. Garden seeds. You've got to be so careful what you type in these days. The internet is brilliant for browsing and sourcing out your seeds and plants. Loads of information available at the click of your trackpad. There's almost too much choice online, but there's no better source of information than fellow allotmenteers with years of gritty experience on the vagaries of local soils, microclimates and badgers. OK, that's done. The 
The soil is hard going after the wet weather and it always threatens with more rain. Toby's mind is elsewhere. He really wants to try out the new barrow. Down, boy! Just a few more shovel loads and we're ready for the frame for raised bed number two. These frames are quite heavy and difficult to move into place, so it's really good to have Toby here to help. We're keen to get them aligned properly before committing to lining and filling with soil. It's also getting really windy and we're both feeling the chill. So it's now time for one last treat before we call it a day. As the massive engine of this superb machine roars into life, what does this intrepid and debonair test driver think of the silver and racing green beast? Thumbs up! He loves it! It's a smasher! Careful now, he's taking that bend too fast. Goodness me, he's gone and crashed. Shocking stuff. Well, Frost has set the ground solid again. No point in trying to dig this. So we sent Dad come out to get some pretty pictures for a frosty morning montage. I'm always surprised that anything survives the harshness of winter. OK, we're not in the Arctic, and there are many colder places on Earth than Birmingham. But I can't help by being wowed by the complex beauty that seems so fragile, yet is so very hardy, capable of coming back year after year to nourish and astound us. Winter throws a cover over the landscape and changes even the most banal and obsolete item into a lacy, crystal-covered fancy. So it's the end of January's programme and we've done a lot here on site. We've got the first couple of beds going, we've got the woodwork in for them, everything's planted in the flower bed at the front, that's starting to sprout. We've got the compost area dug at the back of the plot. We've been quite stalled throughout January with the frosts and the snow, but in February a lot more progress will have happened, we'll get a lot more growing in the ground, we'll get the rest of the beds in, and we can't wait for you to join us at the end of the month to see how we've got on and for a bit more fun. Thanks for joining us again. Bye. Bye.